Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to Hashtag The Impossible Grind. It's a brand new season. It's the 2nd of August 2025 and we are away to Chelmsford City in our first game. That's the game I'm going to be showing you. Before we get into that, let me just show you the hashtag fixtures. 819193. Fantastic pre-season basically and it's down to these tactics. It's not the I am Groot tactics as such because, well, I think it was attacking in the beginning. It's attacking, it's more wide. It's basically the tactics that ended up doing very well against Bath. You know when we, we got beaten by Bath, unfortunately, in the um, playoff semi-final, I think it was. That weird, weird playoff that I hope we're not part of again this season, where there's not two legs. Yeah, we changed the tactics to more attacking and just went for it, and I found that we did really well. So in terms of play ins and outs, we've still got this sort of the same sort of base to our team, as a and Agio still there, Bennett, Roberts. Is Roberts someone that you've... No, you've not seen Roberts. Roberts is, Roberts is a new youngling, so um, a bit concerned about his determination, stuff like that, but he was recommended to us. I think he looks quite good. So, um, yeah, he's a new one. Morrison Calder is still pretty much the same. Donne O'Brien Brady is another young player. I guess you could say we're building for the future, but he's a midfielder, but I quite liked his versatility because his overview makes him look kind of quick as well. So he's the kind of player that is a midfielder because we're a bit short in midfield, but he can also go out and um, I fancy him to um, cover for Shani Bari on the right also. Goalkeepers, we are spoilt for goalkeepers. We brought in this 19-year-old Dondre Abraham. Apparently he should start. I don't feel like, it looks more like a lawyer in that picture or something, doesn't he, with his smart get-up rather than a goalkeeper. But he is um, apparently good. He was recommended. And we got this guy as well. I mean, his, I think his composure is a bit worrying, but we got him. We've just basically got quite a few young players. I'm not massively encouraged by the signings that we've made. Walter Figuera is unfortunately out for five to seven months, which is really, it's, it's a real shame. It's a real, real, real shame. So obviously really worried about that. We brought in Josh Allen. We we're just trying to bring in anyone. He was recommended to us, like very highly recommended. And he's got a lot of good attributes. But I wait for you to spot the one attribute that is absolutely horrendous and very worrying. But other than that, his leadership doesn't matter, the fact that that's low positioning, I wish was better. Other than that, he's a good player. He got an assist, I guess, in pre-season. He's not been incredible. So a bit apprehensive about the start of the season. We've not really got a lot of room financially, I guess, to change things. But yeah, this is it. We're playing away, playing a very sort of attacking tactics in our first game away. We're pretty much going for it. We're really, really, really going for it. And Junior Stanislas is the manager. That's cool. And I believe we have now got the actual kits, which is incredible as well. So we're going to do opposition. They think we should go balanced, but we're just going to go for it. Calder, I should have known Calder, unfortunately, isn't going to be playing. Josh Allen, I guess, 10 Yola is coming in for Calder and Ogundega. And that is going to be it. This is the side that I fancy to win away. We've had a really, really, really good preseason, really encouraging preseason. So I therefore think there's no reason why we can, I'm not afraid, you know, to attack our way to Chelmsford. But what you guys will see, this is very, very, very exciting. On Sort It Out Sci, the website Sort It Out Sci, these are going to be our 3D kits. Now, we have the up-to-date 2D kits that we've had for a while. But the 3D kits, look, you'll see pink there where um, hashtag it almost wants to be pink because that's outside. But I knew, I knew these cool looking retro, kind of like a Manchester United feel to them. I knew they were what the away kit was meant to be. So let's kick off. And I'm excited to see our new guys. Oh, it's still got the pink down there and still the pink down there. But look at this. This is actually what it should look like. And it's 1-0 already. It's David Roberts. Who's David Roberts? David Roberts is... David Roberts is a... David Roberts just scored. That was a brilliant goal from David Roberts. He's not on the wing, is he? He's, he's at the back. Yeah. David Roberts. Wow. 1-0 already attacking. 1-0 inside eight minutes, guys, already. How good is that? We ain't afraid of Chelms, but away. It'd be interesting to see like who didn't get promoted last year that was a bit of a threat last year, and will they be again this year? It's going to be interesting to see, yeah, who's up there, who's going to cause problems, because I definitely want to say this, that we are not planning on getting in the playoffs. Oh, it's a chance. It's James. I don't know why he didn't just hit it. Flannery, I don't know why he just didn't hit it first time, but Odie Alpha has made it 1-1, if that counts. Nice move. It was Hamilton. That's annoying, right. Well, I want to encourage the guys. And I mean, a draw away to Chelmsford, I don't think that's the end of the world, even if we're going for the title. But now, were we just lucky to go 1-0 up? Here's McClellan now, here's Charles. Johnny Barry now. Look at us, we look nice. 
It's Charles now. Smash against the post. Aris. Aris, you had more time on the ball there, mate. I don't know if Eze is going to get that. Their guy keeps it in. But luckily, nothing comes of it. Here's Hamilton Downs. Hamilton Downs to Levy. Now Pollock. Pierre with a beautiful touch. That was brilliant. Kyrie or Kiri Pierre. Brilliant touch to take it into space to get himself a shot on goal. And unfortunately, it's now 2-1 to Chelmsford. Very disappointed in that. And I mean, yeah, Hamilton Downs has really not been good considering he's come in for um, Calder. So that's quite worrying. Here's McClellan now. I'm starting to think this was a wrong decision to make. Page takes it wide and manages to keep it in. Eze just hits it, just tries to get anything on it. Now here's Aris. Aris on his own. And I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know whether... Oh, he's done him unintentionally, but not anything. Came about. Shani Bari. I don't know if... Oh, it's Aggio now. And Nelson Aggio has made it 2-2. He smashed it in. And I didn't think... Maybe we should make it positive. I don't know. But I must say, I did not expect that from Nelson Aguio. Now let's go for it. Let's get another one. Here's Abraham now. You can hit it short if you want, mate. He's hit it up to Morrison. I love Hamish. Hamish Morrison. Look at this. Look at this nice, nice 3D play now. Shani Bari, Shani Bari. We haven't seen Shani Bari or any of these guys in this colour ever. Brilliant from Levy. Brilliant from him. Here's Beckett now. Beckett inside to Crowler. Back to Beckett. We're... But being quite patient, don't be hasty with it, guys. Is Crowler inside to Levy? Levy, that was nice. Is Agio now to Eze? Eze, is Eze going to look to release anyone? No. It's almost like a dummy to give himself a chance to get a ball in, maybe. Here's Levy now. And here's a chance. Oh, and Aris was there. That was really good football, really encouraging. 52nd minute now. I think we can do it. But I'm so confident that I've gone down from attacking to um, positive. Hamilton Downs, unfortunately, not been very good. We've not been very good on that left-hand side, have we? wonder if we should make any changes. wonder if we can afford to make any changes. I think Ogu Dega. Ogu Dega, I think. We'll see what he can do, because I think he's got a bit of pace to him. Hamilton Dawes gets it, though. Here's Levy. And we are now looking like the hashtag we know and love. Aggio now bringing Morrison. Hamish. Hamish coming into play. Now, go on, Hamish. Bomb down the wing. Board. And it's a penalty. I mean, I've seen them given. I didn't think on this game I've seen them given. I really didn't think... That was a penalty. I must say, I thought that was a bit harsh. Aris has also not been very good. And can Agio, the guy I was slagging off, has scored two goals and made it 3-2. Second goal of the season. I was saying, wasn't I, in the last game, I don't want Agio. I'm so upset we've got Agio. I'm going to bring Donne O'Brien on now because Aris hasn't been very good. Lannery, I hope nothing bad comes of that. We're still playing positive. We're still playing as if... We think the best form of um, defence is attack is Thomas now. James. Oh! And it's gone over. He didn't even... Abraham didn't think anything of that, did he? He wasn't expecting that at all. But we currently three points. I mean, away to Chelmsford. They didn't expect it. No one expected it. I don't know whether to make defensive changes. Beckett's not been very good. I think I think instead of doing what they think we should do, they think we should take Crowler off, don't we? But I'm not. I'm bringing Harry Hayson on. We're going to secure the defence, I think, in an attempt to get three points in the first game of the season away to Chelmsford. And here's Shani Bari now. Shani Bari. Oh! And Harry Hazem doesn't get there. It's a chance to maybe seal it, but we don't care. We've got six minutes of added time. I don't know if I should say anything to them. I don't know what to do. It doesn't look like we need to do anything because we've won the first game away to Chelmsford. Agio, the guy that was lagging on the last game, saying, I don't want him, I want to get rid of him, he's useless. What kind of player is he, etc, etc, etc. Fantastic, fantastic performance from him. And I mean, yeah, one point, it's, it's obviously good to not start chasing. I don't know who's going to be up there with us. Torquay, I remember them being in the um, Football League. Dulwich Hamlet, I remember them being in and around there. So that is the first game, guys. That's, um, I mean, when they went 2-1 up, I, I must say, I, I'm, I went into negative mode. But look at that, I cannot believe that. Pat him on the shoulder. More of that, please, because that was just the one he smashed in was ridiculous, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, fantastic first away win. I'll keep saying it. Fantastic first away win. The next game I show you is going to be the 1st of January 2026. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far, guys, of this first game of the season. If you got to the end of this video, you got the patience of a saint. So thank you very much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.